Okay, so I have not really um, shared any Minecraft gameplay, but this is my first one. This is a raid that I dealt with going to this village. And I had only been in this village for a short time, and then I, I had... I, this is like the, the third go-round here with that big thing walking around uh, in the raid. And at this point, uh, at this scene, uh, I, I defeated that, defeated some of the, the gentlemen running around. I guess they're called mobs. But look at all of the nightlife that's out there. And at that time, there were like, I had to kill like four witches. And so this is like the, I think this is like, this is the third one. Because I just killed one. And so I had to be creative and kind of find a way to kill this one. Uh, because when I shot it with uh, the switch with an arrow, uh, of course, when you when you attack them, they follow you, and it just would not leave from the house. So I was in this particular area. It's not a house, but it's this area where uh, they have the lava in front of it. Um, and here, this witch, I had this was the safest way for me to fight it because I felt like the other one was out there, but there was not another one. Uh, the other two are in a different location, so you'll see that. I thought in this raid that I was going to win. I really did. I had it planned out, kill the two, the other two witches, and then I can uh, let the villagers out of their homes. Because uh, all the villagers, except for I think two, were or, or had uh, they killed two of them, um, but the other villagers, you know, they're all they're in their homes. I got them boarded up in there, um, but I mean they knocked down the doors. <laughs> um, this is the uh, second witch. Well, I think this yeah, this is the 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 third witch. At this point, I do not have any bow and arrows. So I'm running around trying to figure out a creative way to kill the witch. And so I'm running and I, I don't. And I come across like some, you know, bow, a bow, like a bow and arrow. Uh, because the skeleton, you know, disintegrated in the uh, the sun coming up. But I, have to, I had to keep running until I kind of figured out a creative way. And the reason I was doing that is because, one, all my, first of all, I'm at a village that's not even mine. This is what happens when you go out there and explore too much. And so I was constantly exploring different areas, collecting a lot of stuff. I found like some more um, diamonds and I had a lot of emeralds and and uh, silver and all kind of good stuff. And um, I, I came to this village to see what I can find and... I came in the middle of a raid. I, I, I stayed over one night and then the next day, this happened. So now I'm getting prepared to, to you know, after I've killed a pig, I, I didn't want to do that. Normally I like to go fishing and, and catch the fishes and fry them and stuff like that. But this um, is something. Uh, I've dealt with a raid before. This is not the first one I've dealt with uh, like four. This is the the fourth one that I've dealt with The first one I dealt with is when I first played Minecraft um, The first time this zombie was here I couldn't kill him because the witch was after me and I was very low in food I had actually nothing on me. I had to go and kill uh, two pigs and one uh, one cow just so that I can have some food because I have been fighting in the raid for a minute so here I'm looking for the witch I'm looking for the uh, third one because there's two more and the one I was fighting I don't know where it went where where the witch went I don't know so I had to go and look for the uh, other one that was somewhere around here so now there's the other one see it says two mobs remaining that other one these are witches so you do fight witches for those who don't know this is the second time that i have actually fought with witches in this raid not this one but a different raid um the first raid i had i don't think i fought witches no i didn't i didn't um but the second raid i had oh yes i've 
I fought with witches. Um, I actually trapped two in a particular area where the water fountain was because they ran over there for some strange reason. And the other two um, I killed. And then I had to fight that big old, um, what is that, a bull? I think it's a mechanical bull. I had to, I think it's, I'm going to call it mechanical, but I just think it's just a bull. And um, I thought the bull was going to be uh, hard to kill, but it's not the bull. It's actually these witches. And so um, all the villagers that are still alive are in their homes. Um, what I normally do with villages that I live in, I normally put a gate around it. Because I know uh, I'm going to deal with a raid. Because my game, for some reason, it loves putting me in raids. Which I don't mind that because you get all kind of good stuff. And then the villagers are happy um, that you were killing off uh, uh, these mobs who are trying to raid their village. So I thought at this point after I killed the last witch, it was over. And you see me see, oh my god, no, it's not. It's not over. So I'm, I'm getting ready to jet out. I'm not putting up with this. I'm getting ready to jet out. I'm hurrying up, getting into here, close the door, and I'm out. You see the little feet? I'm running. I'm not putting up with this. Now, once I come out from under the ground to the other side, guess what I'm going to see? I call him Skinny Man. This particular, and, and I'm down to half a heart. It, I mean, I'm telling you, it was a video game miracle that I made it. Because I am down to one heart. And so I made a choice at this time. I This is not my village. I'm not putting up with this. I've done enough exploring. I need to go home. Um, it's nighttime. It's all kind of creatures out here. Uh, first thing I see is Skinny Man. I still got like a half a heart. And then I see the uh, Mr. Explosive. I call him Mr. Explosive. I have different names for all the mobs in here I call the spider spider eider so I have different names for them I don't you know whatever name they I don't mm -mm. I give them different names and uh, so I'm gone I'm, I'm trying to get back home I am trying to get back home to where I live I'm gone I'm running because there's no way I'm gonna stay there I'm not gonna put up with fighting that another round and these little black skinny men uh, tall I I just can't I can't with them mm -mm. it just seemed like they were always popping up somewhere so I had no boat nothing I just kept swimming as far as I can get away from there I was gone and I wasn't for sure if I was going to make it or not so I'm running I'm like I don't know if I'm going to make this I'm not for sure if I'm going to make this but I'm just going to run get away little zombie that's the first thing came to my mind at this point and now I'm down to like very any barely any food in my stomach and I'm still running at the nighttime when I had a fight in the raid I ran out of food there's food there but I couldn't go around and get any because it was like you see that there was another raid getting ready to happen and if I open up um, knock down the protection I have on the door for the villagers they're going to kill the rest of the villagers. So that village, uh, I left. And there's about four villagers that, villagers that are still in their homes. So I, I'm running and I'm thinking like, okay, I think I'm home. I think this is where I live at. I think this is my house. And so I, and I'm just happy that I didn't fall underground or fall anywhere and anything uh got me because like you see it's nighttime it's all kind of zombies skeletons everything is out there and so i'm looking at this village and i'm like is this my village i'm like no this is not it because i don't live this close to water you know the village where i live at i have a lot of wolves and a lot of cats i have uh i think oh gosh it's just a lot of <laughs> A lot of chickens and, and all kind of animals, but no way. Mm -mm. Now, when I stay in a, uh, a place, I like to stay around villagers. That's just always been my thing. It's, it's fun to hear other characters walk around in the game and 
and work and do farming and I, I don't have to do it by myself. The only thing I wish in Minecraft they would add is allowing certain villagers to fight with you because it's hard sometimes trying to protect the villagers all by yourself. So what I had to do with them since they run at the sign of danger, like the sound or sign, uh, just put a gate, a fence around the whole entire village. If you can be in a village where you can do it. Um, certain villages I live in because I can put a, a fence around it if there's like like this one I couldn't do it's like water everywhere I couldn't do this with the water there water it, it, I just couldn't do this one so I like to have the village I stay in that's just particularly mostly just the terrain where I can build like a fence around the, the village where I don't have to worry about um, you know, it, it's just too uneven. See all this water? I just couldn't do it here. But I'm still down. As you can see, a half a heart. I'm barely making it. And so I just said, forget this. I'm about to go to sleep. I need to save and spawn somewhere. So I turn around and I just wake him right on up. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wake this villager up because there's no way in the world. Mm -mm. I thought I heard something and then I go right back there and I said, okay, I need to save because I don't want to go back to that town where I was sleeping at. Get on up. Now at this point, I'm still like at a half heart, but I know if I die... I am going to um, spawn right back here. That's a little zombie, oh boy. I was still struggling. Now at this point, I don't know if um, this big tall thing is after me or not. Because once I started going over here fighting a zombie, I got hit by it. And I just was like, okay, was he trying to hit the zombie or was he trying to hit me? Because I know I accidentally hit the villager, but I really wasn't trying to hit the villager. I was trying to, you know, save the villager. But like I said... I was down to a half a heart, no food in my stomach, and this village is not where I live at, so I was trying to get back, and um, I eventually went back home, but I didn't record that. It, I actually swam. I did not create a boat or nothing. I swam back home um, because I was ready to go. I had did enough exploring. I got tired of fighting with the skeletons. Um, I was ready to, you know, work on the village and then go digging some more and see if I can find some more diamonds, all kind of stuff. But as I say in this particular one, this is like, uh, what I filmed from the raid. Um, as I mentioned, I like staying in villages, but this is just not, this is, wouldn't be for me. But, um, I had a, I have a fun time fighting in the raids because it, it gives me a new way to fight normally when I'm in a village fighting a raid I like to build like something where I can be higher up and fight but I just want to share a little bit of my minecraft play I'll be uploading some more minecraft some more planet zoo and also some more Garfield so have a good day